Okay, so I'm going to apparently be boss rash without doing anything. That's a fun one to see. Do you actually destroy the other Reapers and stuff when you show up? Yes, yes you do. They don't destroy Ender. Thanks for messing around and some more Vampire Survivors Beswick. Operation Guns Stanley is going to be taking on Bisfoscari. He will be going Divine Bloodline here and will not be building for Retaliation. He will be building for, well, the weapons that get the bonus off of armor. I have had a lot of failures, but I think I may finally have deduced the secret formula, which is Silver Wind and Santa Water. If I can just get those, it should barely just be possible. Up and pick up. Oh, there was the Santa water I was desperately craving last run. Instead, I got cross, and cross did very little in comparison. There you go, Santa water. Here we go. Let's get all our power ups going. Yep, Santa water is gonna be Santa water. Who knew? Who knew? Oh, when we miss isn't helpful, but still. All right, let's get over and get our Silent Old Sanctuary Arcana ASAP. More damage, more might, more power. And get the other armor as well. So Silver Wind gives survivability, high damage, and protection around you. Healing helps as well. Santa Water will do damage to a lot of things outside of it, and it's basically the best thing for that. And this will be the last time I try this on inverse, because, well, if this fails, I don't really have anything else I could try except maybe Bible Silver Wind. And I don't think that would be as effective. But eventually, Santa Water will hit the whole screen. Well, this will not. Okay. Two minutes. To the last of the super easy stuff. All right, let's go grab that Arcana for that silent old Sanctuary power. Well, what else am I going to grab? Oh, right away, nice. All right. And punch down the Atlanteans. Don't want to stay anywhere near where the... Well, I guess spot is. Well, not... I guess I know where the spot is. Aha! Ooh, NFT. Nice. i use that later, though. Yep, Santa Water is still gonna be Santa Water. Armor! Armor! Armor is both damage and protection. Wait, no it isn't. Oh man, I've gotten really confused on what Stanley does. It's might that's armor, which then becomes damage, which then becomes survivability. Alright, let's try and get as many light sources in the easier wave opt as possible so I can create a nest of power ups for the much, much, much more dangerous waves, which is basically everything. Okay, here's stuff. Barrier. Barrier I can grab now. I guess you grab the rapid fire now too, since it's more useful. Chickens I don't need. Chickens I want to stock up on. Same thing with Orologians, Rosaries, NFTs. Uh, there was a time I was basically forced into an NFT I really wanted to save for later. I don't think in the end it would have done anything, but still. Would have been helpful at that point. And I've got enough failures that I am concerned about it. Okay, there's two chickens stacked up. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Yep, I had like, uh, I had a good number of chickens, like six or so, and it still wasn't enough. Some things, eh? Some things. Oh, there's another one, nice. It's one of the nice things about inlaid libraries that the light sources always tend to group up in the same spot on the top or the bottom, so you can sort of ride along it and get them all. Banish thee to the abyss. There's no way I'm letting you on.
Mm. Moving is more dangerous than I thought it would be. I'm in limit break now, so hopefully I can get some very good helpful levels going. Oh, a chest I should have gotten earlier. Well, amount is better than nothing. And 0.5 might. Area. I mean, area is probably better. But one in, no, one in Lanty not down yet. Speed, definitely. The faster they go, the more protection they provide. Oh, I've got a lot of health. See if I can get some more. I'm not deliberately building towards retaliation, but if it happens and I'm aiming for it, good. Still, seems unlikely with Silver Wind in play. Okay, the boar is hitting for upper hundreds, so that's nice. That's very nice. Ah, uh, area on the... Santa water. Not the boar. The boar is the evolution. Tract orb. I just want to try Divine Bloodline without evolving stuff. Going for retaliation. Nobody ever does that. I thought it would be a treat to try it. Divine Bloodline without retaliation build. That's a way to do it. Okay, good. Santa, er, Labor, no, this is Santa Water, Labor is the evolution, jeez. Right, Labor is, I'm hanging my head right now, I am hanging it so hard. Oh, Arcana Chest boss, in nine minutes, what? No, you're a regular boss, I just got confused because the Arcana one is another floating head like that. Oh, I took a good chunk of damage, let's fix that by doing more. Did I just grab the chicken? No. Oh, there must have been another one that spawned in. That's speed going. Oh, a barrier. Which I probably should have saved. Uh oh, they're getting in way more than I thought they should. Well, if I get the area for Santa water up more. Yeah, focus hard on that area. Why well, went Boogaloo? No, it's not so good for Silver Wind here. Ooh, Rapid Fire. This is another wave I can get a lot of good stuff out of, so let's focus on that for now. 200 is pretty good damage for rapid firing weapons like this. Now here's the deal, you. I think I need a wake. There's just no way I can pump out enough damage to get through the 28 and 29 minute waves. I need the survivability above all. All right, snake wave is pretty underwhelming, so that's good. Ooh, yeah, duration. That's excellent. Good. Give me some more. Power up spur, Santa water. Sweet, sweet, sweet amount. Okay, we're going much better. Much better. And if they should get in a bit, do some damage, even better. Yeah, that's a skull boss down there. Show you what the power of silver wind and holy water can do to you. Santa water as well. Okay, good. You went down no trouble, so my damage is actually pretty strong. Homing misses are such a weak weapon. Like, if they got benefit for anything other than Heart of Fire, it'd be better, but they don't. They do not. It's all about the Santa Water here. All about the Santa Water. They do the damage, then they run into Silver Wind, and I get healed off that. Okay, if the later wave is going down this easy, it's a good sign. Yeah, this is a very good sign. 
And the water is still strong no matter what happens. And the more area I get, the better it goes. The entire screen is blue. Now you know you're winning. Okay, or Logan. Excellent. I can grab that at the 25 minute mark for those weirdly durable. The enemies are hitting way too hard, I think. I've got 20 armor and they're still chewing through thousands of health points. Crazy. Okay, this is the first of the waves that get really troublesome. But even they're not getting in. The drowning things. I mean, the boss one's going to pop up at 15. The boss one is annoying. Got a lot of gems sitting on the ground now. Ooh, good. Duration. Speed. Dang it, I grabbed the Orologian. That's bad. I didn't realize I drifted that far. Okay, well, over here. Let's grab everything I can. I'm out, obviously. That's the most damaging option I have. Okay. Good, more duration. More, more, more duration. Might doesn't help, but it's better than anything going to homing miss at all. I mean, speed affects how fast the bottles crash into the ground. No, not decanter. That's something completely different. Ooh, rapid fire over there. That's good to grab later. Alright, if even these guys are going down, the skeleton mantis, or the skullhead mantises, are pretty durable. Oh, dang it. Getting too close to power ups. Ooh, there's the boss version of the drowny thing, drowny blue thing. Yeah, it's getting basically stunlocked by the Santa water and the silver wind. That's excellent. All right. Snakes are also a wave that's noticeable for being pretty durable, but they're not getting in it either. Excellent. Excellent. And I should have grabbed Santa water over cross. I wanted it, but just wouldn't show up. All right. We got a good chunk of chickens. Saved up. So, this is looking like it might be doable. I'm uh, so worried. This was the last one before I would have switched it off of inverse. Obviously, they're not going to survive this on regular at all. They're barely surviving it here. It's just the flying of waves. It's so bad. Then again, I would have gone garlic or not. Or garlic on otherwise. NFT, excellent. Grab that at the 25 minute mark. They're going to be toast. Or I'm going to be toast. Either way. Sweet. Got a lot of duration in. Yeah, the boss isn't getting anywhere close to me. I, amazing. Alright, so, yeah. This is the right call. And it should be doable if it keeps up like this. Obviously, the later waves are going to be stronger. And the 28 is going to get through anyway. Just no chance against that. But still... Power of Santa Water. 200 damage hits on the Santa Water. Excellent. Alright, and now this is another really dangerous wave, but... Man, they're not getting in. Santa Water is so, so good. Yeah, with Cross, I actually had to pop the NFT and they were still getting in real close. Now they're not even getting close to me. They're barely hitting the Silver Wind. It's Snake Wave, Snake Wave. Snake boss down there. The area is actually meaning homie missile gets pretty big explosions. Not gonna do that much still, but hey. Homie miss is doing its best. I'd still say it's better than diver mines, because you know it fires out more, it does more damage, and it gets the benefit of heart of fire as well. I really, really think diver mines is terrible. One of the worst weapons in the game. Like, maybe not as bad as, like, just Vent or something, but still. And another one of these... Oh, no, that's the Arcana Medusa head. Wavy movement. Wait, no, you don't have wavy movement. That's only for regular Arc ones. I, I gotta go around. This has gotta be a bunch of levels stacked up. Yep. That's a lot of levels stacked up. 
Man, I got a lot of duration pickups. Nice. Ooh, is that double NFT? Excellent. That'll really get me through the really hard waves. Oh, boss got in. Nice. They actually take a bit of damage. Increase my might. Well, no, I'm just going to heal back up with the silver wind. That was why I wanted to take damage, because I could take it. Yep, even these later ones, they were getting really fast against the cross, but they can't stand holy water. And to water as well. Wow, why do I keep messing that up? Well, it's very obvious why I keep messing it up, because it's the same thing, just a different word. Area? Actually, maybe I should have gotten might. Oh, I got her one of my chickens. That was not an option I wanted to do yet. Hey, a barrier. Actually, pretty great to grab now, since I can actually keep it. Oh, you didn't drop a chest. That's weird. Oh, another barrier. Santa water is still OP. Man, even Bible couldn't get through this. Ooh, I've got an Orologian stocked up too. Nice. Right, do I want to do that on the 25 minute? I mean, the 28's going to be the harder one. Ooh, I'm getting moved way out of position. Hey, duration. Nice, 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 nice duration. Ooh, I'm out. Yay. Okay, let's grab one now. Burn down the boss, and I can use it on the wave. Wow, you are way too durable. These ones do a lot of upfront damage compared to others. Okay, let's try and get to the other one. We've got more than enough chickens to survive this. Yeah, more than enough chickens to survive it with the NFT. Then I can Aura Logian do the 28 minute wave. And then 5 revives should be fast enough. With all the chickens around here, should be well then strong enough to beat do the final dangerous most waves. And wave is also pretty dicey, but it's going down. It's much... Well, there's more on screen because they're smaller, but they have less HP. So if the DPS wasn't so high because I had so much Santa water, I'd be toast here. Roddy toast. Oh, dang it. I got a chicken I didn't need to. I got a lot of chickens saved up. That's good. Oh, another one of these things in boss form. All right. The creepy white thing. What do you even call it? I, don't know, I know some enemy names. Right, Blunder, Atlantean, Reaper, Orochi, not Amaretsu, not Seru, whatever the right pronunciation of it is. Where'd the Orologian go? Ooh, that's good. I mean, it should have been good. Oh, let's see. A lot of chickens. I need to pop. Boy, howdy. This is going to get a dicey again. That's a bit of a for you. Man, even the NFT can't chew through them. I got one more chicken left. Hopefully they're stacked up enough that I can run through. Oh no. No, oh no, oh no. Two more revives. Two more revives. All right. Try and stick around ones that are defanged. I'm running into terrain. Will I make it? I need to stop pausing. Oh, just barely. Another just barely win. Whew. 
Wee wee wee. Yep, Santa Water did its work. Silver Wind kept up too, that's incredible. But yeah, there's Divine Bloodline without go building for retaliation done. Homing miss is terrible. Stanley takes one down. Okay, it is time for Stanley's adventure into the boss rash. And let us be taking off inverse because, well, I have lost enough here. Find bloodline from the start. Hope we get some nice weapon. Oh man, I forgot what the pal looked like when it wasn't an inverse. <laughs> so weird now. Garlic. Yeah, garlic. More garlic. How could I lose? And power up. I do not count it towards the limit. I will keep saying this till the end of time. Because I am a dingbat. The fact that we're fighting bats is completely coincidental. Oh, let's go full buzzsaw. Bonus box, yeah. Spinach, yeah. Max armor, max damage, max killing. Max killing story. Wow, when they do not have triple health, they go down so fast. Or, no, it's quadruple health here, isn't it? But yeah, I lost a lot on this before I decided to turn off inverse. It doesn't matter how much power the other Arcana grants me, it will still not be as much as cutting the enemy health down by a third, or to a third. Oh man, I just, I've forgotten how nice it is to just be able to walk through bats with garlic. You just get so much experience. People may call garlic a bad weapon, but the game is not the last 10 minutes. It is the first 10 minutes, it is the middle 10 minutes, and it is the last 10 minutes. Every minute counts. That's how you get Fire Emblem tearing. Da -da. Damage. No, Bible first. This Bible is damage. Yeah, look at them dust elementals go down. Oh, just not being on inverse feels so nice sometimes. Everything feels like it has a reasonable amount of health again. Hey, fire. Now if I just get around, I can burn you all down. Right, you have knockback lowered because of garlic. It's actually very hard to burn you down. So this keep getting pushed away, 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 away. Ooh, cool down. Really affects me. Da -da. Yeah, you get so much area denial with these. Doesn't hold up when you need a lot more damage on inverse, but on regular hurry, or regular hyper, nothing's really going to get in except the biggest, meanest waves. Like the hag right here. Curse you hag, curse your insufferable existence. Well, granted, I'm pretty sure if I stay still, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, the Medusas, or the high-tier Gorgons aren't getting in. Why do we call them Medusa heads? Like, obviously, but they should be Gorgon heads. No, I mean, there should only be three Gorgons, but... Hey, mythology likes to mutate itself for popular culture. Yay, more spinage. Puts me up to 18 armor. 18 more base damage on Garlic and the Bible. Ooh, Skelly Wave. That's a lot of nice XP. Man, without their health boost, even the flowers are going down. Pretty quickly, comparatively. And homing misses here. Yeah, I don't think it's as bad as Diver Mines, because, you know, you get more hits out of it. And you get the benefit of Heart of Fire, which Diver Mines does not get the benefit of anything except the beginning. But still, homing miss is not great. And that's why I'm focusing on the other two weapons. I'm not doing Operation Guns with an Operation Guns character. The stinkiest of robots. I haven't actually done that much retaliation damage either. My health's pretty low. That's nice. 
Build an violent bloodline without retaliation damage? What kind of crazy idea is that? Man, it's so much XP. Kind of crazy how famine it is on inverse. And bam, perfectly fine here. Oh, that could have been bad. I can hold off with revive, awake for later. Oh, wait. Do I want to go Tragic Princess? You might as well. Nothing else really boosts my damage at this point. You know, when I do it again on Poe, I'm gonna like go for maximum damage garlic or something silly like that. That'll be funny because garlic is such a meme. Now let's see, the Bibles are hitting for. Can't tell what anything's hitting for. Bibles are hitting for like 160. Well, the garlic is. Well, it's really hard to tell, but it looks like 100 ish. And because it's Tragic Princess, it'll hit a lot more. Yeah, they really can't stand up to the damage of even base garlic here without inverse health. Also seems like they have less knockback resistance on off inverse. That's interesting to check. Man, I have a lot of stuff saved up on the ground. That's very good for the end game. Because those robots are still going to be those robots. 1400 health does not go down easy. It'll be even worse with curse. It'll be like 2100, right? Man, 50 curse just did so much, even if it doesn't seem like it should. Yep, even the eyeballs are still a surviving. Hmm. Is it just the base might of garlic that raises, or does it count towards the might that you get from Divine Blood? It shouldn't count for Divine Bloodline armor. That should be like base damage plus whatever limit break you get. Then on top of that, it would be whatever you pick up from your might and then Divine Bloodline. Divine Bloodline should be it. Do I have any rosaries? Well, yes, but I can't access it. Perhaps lasted a while. I don't know what's all down here, but let's check. Man, you're on threatening off inverse. Oh, and homie misses here doing like 90 damage. That level's a terrible. All right, 11 minutes. We're about to get them giant robots coming in. Wow, all the way at the end, eh? Even if I think I'm not in any real danger. Oh, well. Even if I think I'm not in any real danger. I still do not want to mess with them too much if I can avoid it. Uh, da -da -da. I should have to stay near the bottom. Oh, crap. That was a lot. Man, it almost must have been under contact damage. Oh, that was the safer route. Wait. I Boy, howdy, I need to take care of you soon, Droner. Not good. Well, the Orologian was lucky, but everything else wasn't. This is unconsciously bad because I couldn't take out Drowner soon enough. Uh oh. No. Uh -oh. So now I'm basically holding out hope that I get enough lucky stuff picked up that I can go through this. Oh. I want to get in contact damage with you. Probably my best option. Well, actually, this does so little. Wow, that was super lucky. Wow, what? Oh, what? 
That damage would be super ridiculous. I mean, I know they do way too much as it is, but still. It's 26 armor. Oh, I, where did I get another revive from? Okay, so I'm going to apparently be boss crash without doing anything. That's a fun one to see. Do you actually destroy the other reapers and stuff when you show up? Yes, yes you do. They don't destroy Ender. Well, there's boss rash down. Omi Mist did less than garlic, as you expect. Time for Stanley to go do his new move challenge, and since Inley Library has proven way too difficult, and oh gods, I just said that, let's go to Bat Country. Nice, relaxing, no trouble whatsoever, Bat Country. It's nothing but a bunch of easily killed bats. And a bunch of other stuff that will not be easily killed. Right, get a track door base sap. Get a track door of ASAP. Garlic. Well, what can pick up? Tracked orb is more experience, and that is so very necessary. Yes, come to your destruction, bats. Come to it all. I did not need empty tome at all right now. But it's empty tome. And you long for it beyond anything. Oh wow, you wrecked that bat. Come to me, my delicious experience. Come to me. I mean, more garlic isn't exactly helpful right now, but I don't... Well, it's not like I'm going to use my rerolls for anything but a tracked orbit. There's enough for another level? No, not yet. Oh, they, they can't even get through the garlic. Yeah, they'll just bounce right off the garlic, huh? I've never, I don't think I've actually used garlic here before. Ah, <laughs> they got pushed in by the bats, that's funny. Alright, so I had enough complete failures on Inlaid Library that I moved to Backcountry because it's going to be much easier. There's like one troublesome wave near the end and the big bat wave, but I know both of those will go down to the damage I will eventually be able to put out. And well, this is only a couple hours before, you know, it needs to go up because of very bad things that happen with trying to get a Bispo Scary done, which really messed up my timetable. I was a whole one video ahead for a week. Yay. But now I'm going to be behind again. I'm not going to be able to get any of the power-up storms from the stage walls, huh? Well, at least I got boss rash done. And boss rash is very impressive to get done. Because it's still boss rash no matter what you do. Well, I guess unless you do game killer, in which case it's super easy to Well, no, eventually, yeah, one of them will eventually give me a vacuum, that's good. Yep, yeah, here's the bigger bats, they are still not getting through. That's good, that's good. I'll get crown, I need levels, fast as possible. Eventually, the Bibles and the garlic will be doing like 150 to 160 each, which means they'll be doing like, before anything hits me, they'll be taking like 600 damage, which is not normal, is usually enough for everything sh on non it well, I guess on verse. That's basically enough for everything that's not a boss or the giant meat golems or the giant robot golems at the end of Dairy Plant to fail. Well, anything that doesn't have HP times level. Which I guess means in theory that I should have not be trying to level. Hmm. Oh. I have an idea. No move with Game Killer. That sounds like a terrible idea. I'm not even sure what would happen there. Oh, there's a random event. Oh, oh, oh. 
And something I noticed is that I'm gonna I really hope I do remember to make the short of this. Is that if you have it moved, it doesn't look like the random event to do the shooting stars fires off. Because I blatantly got one last round and the pet effect activated it instead. Oh, flower wall. I don't need you at all, Eomolisin. And it, you know, it's not something a lot of people are going to notice because who's going to do no move challenge with random events on? So, well, man, all the bats pushed the flowers into me, huh? My damage hasn't maxed out yet. So I don't have miter armor. As well as bats. I mean, eventually they'll go down before I do. So, focus on... Wow, Toron's box still hasn't shown up. Yeah, they're getting in closer, but... Still not enough to stop me. And his crown maxed out. I think I need one more... How many more levels of Bible do I need before I can hit those things? Corona. Corona's box. It saves the day. Okay, it's starting to hit some of them. And my tractor or my magnet is high enough that it gets in. So might. Might, might, might. Dang it. Probably just needed one more level for it to start hitting them better. Well, oh, there's a boss bat. And it did not last long. I say before it even goes down, because I'm predicting the future. Aw, yeah. King Bible. More like King Bible. Not having evolutions is really painful, eh? Oh, wait, what? Why are you suddenly occurring now? What? Okay, I have no idea. Because I absolutely got the shooting star event beforehand, and it did not fire off at all. Oh, that was the Arcana Eyeball Bat. Well, hopefully I get enough random good random events. Compensate on the back end. Wait, what? Why... How is an Arcana chest all the way over there? I haven't moved. Hey, Ghost Swarm, that's a lot of XP. Mmm, deliver it straight to my... circuits? I mean, I guess circuits is what makes sense for you. Oh, I'm getting green gems here. Oh, I'm just I'm gonna mash A then. Oh, right, don't mash A. I don't want to get Torrance Box maxed out. Right, gonna blow up any of these dang squares? These ones. Or incidentally, then intentionally, but hey. They go down, they'll give me a bunch of pickups. That's nice. No vacuum, though. Okay, the missiles are getting through to them. Oh, that wasn't good. Hey, there's another grenade over there. Uh-oh, experience is starting to dry up. Well, I can break a good chunk of the wall at least. And as long as I get a good power-up, it'll help. That seems unlikely. Alrighty. Maybe get a bit more area off this. Nope. Doesn't look like they're ever gonna bounce enough times for me to destroy them. Needs like four bounces? Yeah, four bounces and they just barely miss it. Sometimes. Oh. I don't think I'll be able to hit any of these ones. Okay, and only the eyeball bats are left for anything threatening. If these aren't getting in, then I should have enough damage to get through them as well. 
I'm not capped out just yet. Wait, why are they? Oh, they're not even hitting me. They're getting close, but they're not. It's blue, green, yellow, purple, then you blow up. Oh, I actually destroyed one, huh? Hey, a pet, nice. Ah, uh, nice little relax and trip to backcountry. Turns out we can stop here. <laughs> so, well, building for Divine Bloodline without retaliation damage is obviously a waste of potential. It's not the worst, like, you know, garlic's still, you know, it's still okay if you can boost up its damage. I mean, it's got a lot of area, knocks things back. Oh, hey, Mount One. Why am I going for this? Wow. Give me a lot of good stuff. Nice. Now if I can just get a vacuum. Well, random always now. And controller down for the rest of the run. Well, I guess unless a chest gets pushed into me, but that seems incredibly unlikely. Hmm. <laughs> It's 18 minutes when the eyeball starts spawning in. I've got both my revives. I've got a lot of armor. I've got a lot of might. And I've got knockback. So let's see if they can push in. Was that? No, it wasn't a starburst. Why did it sound like a starburst then? Wait, these aren't the eyeball bats? What? This is weird. This is such a downgrade on what was just happening. Even the boss bat isn't getting in through this. Oh, yeah, and homie missed adds its like 90-ish damage occasionally too. So hitting for 160-ish. Okay, we it looked really dicey because of the fade effect, but yeah. Huh. Just 19 minutes, huh? Alright, Stanley has successfully not moved in on backcountry. He has stopped here and proven everyone wrong. Maybe later down the line I'll actually go for a build that really benefits him. Benefits time bloodline. Yeah, well it does. 3.9 from the King Bible. Garlic didn't do much. Which is strange because it was keeping up okay enough but i guess it's just the low health of the bats either way stanley is done and not without some trouble but stanley has taken down three more on the beswick and we are doing it with fine blood lane with no retaliation uh what was the second one it was boss rash yeah here we go uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. four and 285. Man, display them like this would be really annoying. Well, either way, that's 285 down. Pretty difficult all around, that, but that is why you build Divine Bloodline for retaliation damage, because it's so much better being on a character with a lot of defense like Stanley. Either way, up next is going to be Pro Protector. Should be a lot, lot easier to a degree that's almost scary. Stick around and find out. I would like to thank everyone who has supported me with likes, dislikes, comments, or subscriptions. It keeps me going some days. I do hope that you drop one of those if you enjoyed the content. But either way, I hope you have a good day. And you keep messing around in the Vampire Survivor's Beswick.